Coach, you, you come on the first period, you score the first goal, and then you guys obviously tied the game late. What did you see throughout that game that you liked and obviously losing in overtime there? I liked the play of our top line. I thought they were extraordinary all game. I thought they really created a bunch of chances uh, that they unfortunately didn't finish them all. Um, but I really liked them. And I, I, we didn't. our depth of scoring went away a little bit this weekend, and we needed it. Uh, so with conference play just over a little quicker than you thought, what can be said just about this team this season? Well, I'm proud of them. Accomplished, yeah. They should be proud of themselves. It's the highest finish ever um, from, a, from a Western team in the NCHC, the best conference in college hockey. So we're proud of our accomplishments so far. We're going we're gonna to hope and pray that we get into the, to the, to the tournament, which is the goal at the start of the year, right, to make the final 16. We still have a really great chance at making the final 16. If that happens, we'll be ready to go and ready to compete. What's the mindset going for? Obviously, getting to the tournament is a big thing. What, what's your case to be to be in that tournament? Well, I mean, you can't make a case. It's all mathematical here, so it is what it is. At this point, you know, we we got to hope others succeed and and the, the highest seeds win everywhere, and and that, and that our pairwise gets us in. And if it does, we'll be a tough tough out for anyone. What'd you tell the guys when you come back to the locker room after after a game like that, so tense, so tight? I told them I'm proud of them. I'm proud of their 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 efforts for the season, and uh, if we're lucky enough to get in that tournament. We're going to make sure we're ready.